you know, I would rather give money to Fox Chase than go on a vacation because we couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't get out of my, my, my bed. But now we can, we can do so much. And so we can sacrifice these small things in, in conquering this monster. I have two daughters, so it's very it's a personal um, legacy for me. What Fox Chase brings to people is prevention, it's screening, it's the care, it's it's the whole package, and um, there's not a lot of places like this. This is a unique place. So giving to Fox Chase is really giving to the uniqueness of what it is that we're trying to do as an organization. The attending physicians for my wife were the men that did the research on esophageal cancer, and men and women. And, and uh, it, that's very impressive because they are reminded every day of why they're doing what they're doing. And I don't think there's any, any, any higher calling in my life than, uh, than to uh, uh, see people get past cancer through the, uh, through the phenomenal uh, uh, facility that Fox Chase has, has uh, given to other people, but it's really given me life. This institution, apart from treating patients is also doing extensive basic research into uh, what makes up cancer, what causes it, how it can be treated. I feel very strongly about research. That's where I would like my money to go and that's what we are doing. And I feel it's important because that's, that's where it all begins. And one of the things is about cancer research is that it's incremental. You know, you hear about, well, this drug is going to extend mean time survival rate by a month. And you look at that and you say, why bother, you know? But it's incremental and it adds up. You know, Dale lasted 22 months. The mean survival rate is three to five months for esophageal cancer, okay? So, you know, there was something learned. We like to think that there was something learned from her cancer. Fox Chase does nothing but cancer. If, uh, if they don't know everything there is to know about cancer, as, as, as much as one can know about cancer, uh, there's, there's, not, there's not another place that will know more. And incidentally, I'm on the board of two other medical institutions, but I have to say that uh, I feel very, very strong loyalty uh, towards Fox Chase Cancer and have since 1973. The research that goes on here and the care that goes on here, we, we can't actively participate in that on a day-to-day -day basis, but to participate it as a supporter. We're reinforcements to our fighters that are fighting at the front line, and I really believe that. And I think that uh, more and more people that can kind of uh, get that, um, we're going to get closer and closer to putting you guys out of business. You know, it takes all kinds of committed people, both people who want to work um, in cancer in terms of research and care and treatment, and people who want to advocate for it. it we need every, everyone. I'm writing a letter this year to everybody that gives me fruitcakes to say, no, I don't want a fruitcake this year. Please send whatever you would have spent to Fox Chase, and I'm going to match what I would have given you for Christmas. It's the connections that we as donors have with the organization and I think as survivors we have with other survivors and with caregivers we have with patients and families. Those moments in life are what make, what make life worth living. That's you know why I'm, I'm passionate about this place and it's going to be hard to pull out of here without her. As, as every time I would bring her for treatment, that was our routine and that's why I'm back here. I love this place.